So, Mama Pierrette, my question is this. Can the church be considered as a family? If yes or no, can you explain it? The church is. The church is a family. Can you explain it? Yeah, if I can explain it, because uh, as the Bible says, we've been saved to save. What a church must be a family to me, because in the church, God brings souls to us for us to teach them the word of God, to show them the good way to be, behave to the word of God, and for them to be saved one day to enter in the heaven. So for me to walk very well, I need to take the church as a daughter in the ministry because they are the souls or the sons and daughters that the Lord give it to me. So I need to take them as a family. If I put them in the place of a family, I will treat them very well than to consider them like just people. So for me, the church is a family because in the church we get salvation. If there's a son who missed even education from the parents, in the church we can restart a new life in the son that who is already lost from the parents. He can get a new education even in the church because the word of God is there to strengthen, to give us strength, to strengthen and to, to build the life. So for me, the church is a really a family. Woman, what do we say about the call in the, in the house, cleaning, cooking, since that you are professional. Is it something that you need to have an help on, or what can you say about it? Yes. Uh, dealing with the ministry and the profession, you need to organize your house. Mm -hmm. If there's people, there's people in your house that can stand and can assist you, you can just give instruction. You can just leave them instruction, please, I won't be here, just assist me in this and this and this. This is the way we organize ourselves, just to find our house clean, if we are not there. And the day I'm here, I'm in the house, I fulfill my work properly the way I have to do it. But if you are not there, even when you go in the Bible, the, uh, the woman of value, they will tell you that she's organized. Mm -hmm. She will give instruction mm -hmm. to the one who can help her in the house to assist her. That the way the woman who is working or the business woman should work, should organize herself for the house. The negligence, yes. the becoming negligent, and especially if she's a lucky one that finds a man who's very care caring, a man who can give hand, a man who can help, they become lazy. They try now to start sharing responsibilities. If she come maybe home from work and the husband did not do a task, she will become furious and she will become very upset. I'm talking to the mamas that are here tonight, stop doing that. If your husband helps you, it is not his duty. Yes. He's just helping you by compassion. You need to stand and take full responsibility, full charges of your house. Amen? It's very important. But we find that our uh, uh, mamas, if papa helps you, he's the one who's going to bath the kids in the morning. He's the one who's going to cook. You, because you are too tired, you come uh, late because you, you, you are too tired and you take advantage of that, that is very wrong. As a woman, a noble woman needs to stand up. Even if you have to wake up four o'clock in the morning, leave your house organized. If God give you grace, you can even have an helper just to avoid those tension in the house, amen? Most of the time there is tension because you feel like you are tired. Some of them, they can even say, my husband is abusing me, is using me. They yeah. do such a way using me or such a way abusing. You just have to take responsibilities and take charge of your own house. Amen? Amen. Amen. I just want to complete. Yes, I just want to complete, uh, Mama. And uh, just to say that about the food, 
we need to cook for our husbands. <laughs> Don't leave someone else to cook for your husband. You know his favorite, you know what he expects for you, do it. Sometimes I come back, I'm very tired, but I have to do so. I have to take care of my husband, I have to take care of my children, and every night at 9 p.m., we have our prayer. I have to teach my, my children how to pray and to lead them. And among my children, there is one servant of God. She's a singer, my first daughter. Mm -hmm. Just to show that we need to take our responsibility until the end and to fulfill it the way it should be. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Thank you very much. If you do that, I, I don't against it. But it's, it's not good. Amen. Amen. Your husband has to eat fresh food every day. Hey. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. It's not impossible. Yes. It is not impossible because I've done it, I'm still doing it, and I do it. My husband, if you have put the food for yesterday, if he does touch it, he won't. You will just see him avoiding the place. You will just see him. But here in South Africa, we found that you cook food for one week. No, it's not fair. It's not fair. You are giving people rotten stuff. You pack stuff in the freezer, you cook. You just put it in the microwave. No. Stop being lazy. Cooking won't kill you. Just organize yourself. Organize yourself. Organize yourself. If you have a difficult husband who don't eat leftover food, please, please, you'll find also cooking, you are on WhatsApp, you are on Facebook, you are on Instagram. All those things is a distraction. Come out of distraction. Come out of distraction, build your own house. Because they say a foolish woman destroys her own house with her own hands. When it comes to cooking, please, my daughters, they know. Their father always tell them. They know. They are laughing. He always tell them. They are here. Please stop cooking. Leftover food to your husband. Cook fresh food. Yeah. It's healthy. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Even me, I was working, it was happened. I did work here in South Africa for eight years. Until the time arrived that I need to stop working. It's the level that the Lord brought us. We need really to stand up, even though you are busy, not only on the food, in the room also. Change the blankets, change the pillow every week. You cannot sleep on the same pillow for a week, woman, please. Even for yourself, last time I did take a good, a, a complaining a couple that they are fighting because the woman cannot change even the blanket and the pillow smell bad. Even for your whole health. It's not you need to sleep in a good place and do the mama, they go hit your room. Yes, many seconds. My husband sometimes I in the bed the the the, the, the pencil and the, the But my room, Amen. my husband is taken. I like when I enter in my room, I see a smart room. Mm. I put first my big pillows and I lay the small one and I put a small nunush there. Mm. So, yeah. Yes, so the bed must be tasty already before them. So the men cannot just, just enter in the room. Even you want to go outside, oh, let me lay. Yeah. So there's many ways we can keep our husbands, mothers. After three days, remove. Mm. Have them even seven. Yeah. So, pet them nicely. So, my, your husband may feel that really I'm a king in this house. Yeah. 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 Also, uh, the first one is say, what is God's order regarding family and ministry? And the next one is, if in the marriage the husband cheat, if it's, is it the woman's fault? No, it depends. The husband can teach also because of the negligence of the woman. Or the woman herself opened the doors for the husband to teach. And in other ways, the evil spirit also can enter to destroy your marriage. Mm -hmm. And 
bring that issue in your family for you to live. And another way we need to understand, the devil is always, they fight the marriage, the couples. And another way, if you are married, you know that you have another fight that the devil wants you to be separate with your man. So if you find your man teaching, you, you, you do have love with your man. You need to save your man. Amen. If you, you need to forgive your man, this is very good. See yourself as a child of God, like your man teaches because he fell in sin. So you, you need to bring back your man in your house. Even though it happened, or is your fault, or is the devil who used, but see that is the, the, the fight, is the devil for just the, your marriage to be destroyed. So it can be your fault. Some negligence, like I told last time, I, I was preaching before, I said that, look, the man is sick on his private party because of underway. The underwear is very small, but you need, you don't even know my husband is getting wet, is head wet, I must change the size of underwear. You see, those some negligence. You are in the house, you look ugly, you don't even smart. I didn't say that you can walk, no, no, but look properly. Give your husband the appetite to kiss you. Hallelujah. So perform. Amen. Yes, you need to perform on that side. So in another way, you can also open the gate your husband to go out and fall in the sea. In the family and the ministry. I don't know, it's a lot to say. But the order of God, the first things I say in the beginning, as a woman, as we gather in the women's gathering, the first things, if you understand what God created me as a woman, what is my duty, what is my role, is to build an inequality and in good hearts and as a Christian. If I can answer that question, that is all I can say. I don't mean to to in order. God comes first. God comes first, then family, then church. Most of the time, especially ministers, especially pastors. They are keeping to forget about their families and taking too much care of the church. Mm. That's where you find that a lot of ministers, their family are tearing apart because they are trying to replace the order. God's family and church. Mm. Amen. Amen. Amen.